Gracia, Sanz, they used to be like uh, independent towns. We just got on the Monstrat Mountain. Uh, the road takes 45 to 60, 70 minutes, depending on the traffic. In the morning, no traffic, but why all of the stores have to start so early in the morning? <laughs> And it's pretty cold down here. We didn't have any choice because we don't have a car, but if you have your own car, definitely come up here with your car. You can start whenever. And before we go further inside into the monastery area, Montserrat is one of the main um, monasteries here in Catalonia and also a major pilgrimage site for the whole Spain. The relic that made this monastery famous is the Black Madonna. Uh, it's pretty unique because all the other Madonnas here in Spain are white, so we, you'll hear about the story a bit more later. One of my favorite candies, it contains coffee inside and gives you the much needed boost of energy which, by God, I really need now. Where we are now in this square is where one of the big first important political. Uh, inside you can take pictures, video, chats, uh, and all match. So that's why you see the Madonna is set on the most honorable place in the basilica, over the altar, right? Now, uh, we, now we'll enter again the basilica and we'll have the chance to see the rest of it. The part of the Virgin Mary, there are all like prayers to the Virgin Mary. You pay 2 euro 50 and then you take a candle from here and light it on the altar. The legend says that the Black Madonna was found by shepherd boys. They saw it in a cave, they saw light coming from the cave and they decided to explore it. When they went inside, they were surprised that the Madonna that they saw was with dark skin. So for a long time, this was considered some sort of miracle. But in 2017, when uh, scientists got access to the Madonna, finally they examined the coating and discovered there was just a uh, layer of paint that contained metal and in time it oxidized. However, over that top, they covered it with two layers of black paint. Uh, just to reinforce <laughs> the blackness, the darkness of the skin. Obviously, we don't know anything about this legend, but a lot of people who come here on pilgrimages think that the Black Madonna has some um, magical properties and they make wishes and hope for those wishes to accomplish. I made mine. Do you all go usually hiking back home? Yes? No. No? Okay. Our uh, path continues uphill, but first we'll go down to see the view from here and then we'll continue up there. Mm -hmm. 
as we started hiking in the morning at the foothill of the mountain it was super cold and now it is so hot the temperature yeah. rised abruptly i am only in my sports pants and uh, in a very thin sweater i recommend the same to you if you are going on this hike no, no, dress in layers no, no, so you can take off everything because now it's pretty warm <laughs> And uh, where Montserrat is, you have to imagine a delta area. Rivers had no enough water to bring these big rocks. They could just transport little clays and sands. Mm -hmm. That's San Juan, but that's the new one, the rebuilt one, San John Hermitage. But the original one, it was built a little bit far behind. Usually the hiking season in the Pyrenees is from June to, um, to uh, September, October. So that's the top part of our hike. Let's go and find a nice place to sit with bills. And we'll relax a little bit here, we'll rest a little bit. Mm. It's a good way to learn about the culture also. <laughs> well, you can spend the night here and I pick you up uh, Thank you. tomorrow. You can wait for the parachute drive. <laughs> so, they are a little bit narrow, so always try when you see people coming to get Now we started descending downhill, just had a very quick lunch. Uh, and instead of having siesta like Spanish people usually do, we are doing another hike, this time downhill. It's getting a little bit colder, hence the jacket. Not to rebuild it, but to, uh, to see how it was an hermitage. Let's, we'll pass by, but I just stop here because that's the best view you will have, you know. Because then after that, when you pass there, you see just rocks. Hey guys, it's the end of the tour. I'm with our tour guide, Ramon, who is very knowledgeable, very nice, <laughs> also made us exercise a lot. Ramon, so tell us a bit about the tour. What's like the point of the tour? Who should take this tour? Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the, the tour. It's been we my did. pleasure. Uh, so this tour, it's, um, it's a mix of uh, history, culture and nature, outdoors hiking. So uh, anyone interested in uh, learning a little bit more about uh, Catalan history, discovering one of the most uh, iconic mountains of, uh, we have around Barcelona, and uh, combining all this uh, historical part and cultural part with uh, beautiful uh, nature, hiking and beautiful views, that would be the, your tour. That's great. Do people need to have any physical preparation before going on the store? So uh, this tour is designed so anyone on a normal physical condition can have. So, uh, so you don't need to be very fit or you don't need to be a regular hiker. Just uh, if you regularly walk a little bit and uh, do sport, mm -hmm. uh, you will manage. As, as you've seen, at some point Montserrat can be a little bit uphill, right. but uh, it's very panoramic, we take breaks, so we, we make it uh, easy for everyone to, to follow. I can attest to that, I'm not very sporty and I still did it and saw a lot of older people on the trail, so you should be fine. Well, thank you so much, Ramon, I'll be leaving your contacts in the description of the video, so guys, if you want to take it, I highly recommend it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Thank you very much! I hope to see you in Montserrat! Bye-bye!